Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy NTG back here with another video today. Today guys, we're going to be going over the best coin making methods currently in Madden 25 Ultimate Team. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on post notifications. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. So, let's talk about how you guys should be making your coins in Madden 25 Ultimate Team. So, the first coin making method, this should come without any question. Avoid all packs at all costs, guys. This isn't, you know, really a method per se this is just a tip don't open packs nothing is worth the value if you are going to open anything do me a favor and open up the uh what's it called the 70 plus pack i know it's not fun but any other pack you're just going to lose massively on so do not open anything don't open anything in training right now don't open anything in just the regular offers do not open packs because they are horrendous value guys horrendous value but that's not really a coin making method that was more just a psa so now let me talk about some actual methods in this game so uh the first set we always talk about this set but it is a set i like to give to beginners because i think it is very very beneficial to help you make some coins um that's the base team item set so you guys are going to exchange 370s or whatever into this pack and you're going to get yourself a choice of either a a uh, playbook, a coach, a uniform, or a stadium. For me, I like to go with usually playbooks, but um, this set's going to cost you like 750 to 1,000 coins. Very low budget, beginner type friendly set, so I always recommend doing this. If you guys have like 5 or 10k coins, it helps build up the stack. It's not fun per se, but you know, it definitely, um, it works. It works, so um, we'll take the Cowboys. Um, there are some more expensive playbooks than others. I'm not exactly sure which ones they are. Um, but you guys can see it would have cost us about a thousand coins to complete this. It's going to sell for around 3k. So it's a nice little 2k profit. 100% recommend doing that if you guys just want to make some quick and easy coins. It's not hard, very simple, very easy. So doing that pack is a great method for beginners. Now let's talk about some other sets that you should be doing. So um, basically when you're making coins, you want to look for differentiates in um you know, prices to complete sets and cards for what they sell for. So there isn't an insane amount right now, but we can show you the first cards, which would be the Season of Boom right here. Uh, Trayvon Diggs currently goes for about 450,000 coins, which is a handsome amount. So to complete that set, you're going to need five Season of Boom 82s and also three 82 overalls. So we'll look at the market for these cards right now. These are about 50K right now. You can probably snipe them for you guys can see. Javante Williams is 50K. So I would try to get around there for your sniping for the 82 overalls. So times that by five, it's gonna be 250K right there. And the other 84s you're gonna try to get for about 40K. So that'll be 250 plus about 120. It's going to bring you to about 370. So it's gonna cost you around 370K to complete that set. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna exchange that into the Trevon Diggs for like we mentioned, 450K, giving you a profit of right around, give or take, I don't know, what would that be? 40K profit? That ain't too bad. And you guys can see there are the 82s that do pop up for right around that price. 40K right now you can get Josh Downs for. Uh, the biggest problem is going to be getting the Season of Boom cards for 50K. Now, if you're patient, they will pop up. But there isn't a high demand in these cards right now. So there isn't an influx of them pushing into the market. But you guys can see 50K right there. If we look at 84 to 85s, or I guess we need to look at 86s for these um, there's no 85s worth doing, but the 86s are worth doing. You guys can see the 86s, um, we have ourselves, where are they at? So Travis Etienne is 440 right now, and Trevon Diggs is 446. So completing these 86 to 87 roll sets is a pretty good method. I would 100% recommend doing this. You're looking for those 82s once again for right around 50K. That's going to be the struggle you need to get um, five of them. So this might take you a little bit of time, but it might only take you 10 minutes for those to pop up. You know, they're not the rarest cards in the world, but they will pop up for that price. So doing that is a good method. Um, I haven't checked this, but the AKA might be a solid method right now. Um, I don't think so, just because there's not a um, big surplus of these cards. So I would stay away from the AKA sets, uh, but a really good set as well right now you could be doing is the ultimate preseason sets. You might be wondering, hey, why are we doing ultimate preseason sets? So well, let me show you, because there's an expensive 85 overall still that is probably worth doing. And that guy right there is going to be um, defensive tackle Javon Hargrave, who currently sells for about 230k. So if you basically bare minimum didn't snipe too much, you could probably still make 10k off the set, which isn't bad if you spend what that'd be four minutes maybe building it for 10k. 
that's a pretty good rate right there. So you're looking for the 82 to 83s. Um, you can sit down and try to snipe them for cheaper, but you guys can see they're gonna pop up for 40K on frequently right now. And like we were talking about, you can get 40Ks for these cards all day. So left outside linebacker, for example, you know, he might be pretty cheap. Yeah, 40K. So you can definitely do the set for really quick, really cheap. You're gonna make about 10K on it. But if you wanna sit on it, snipe it a little bit, um, not a bad option. You're looking for these cards for more like 37K and you're looking to maybe make 25K then. Um, but yeah, doing this method right now is a great method as well. Hopefully that Javon Hargrave is really, really good. I would recommend doing that right now. Um, that's also maybe for a lower budget as well. Now let's talk about the ones that I'm going to be personally doing because I have a lot more coins. I want to be, you know, using my time a little more frequently. Frequently, um, I want to be doing it in more relevant content. So the one I'm really focusing on right now is the Campus Heroes, guys. The Campus Heroes is a pretty good method to do right now. So you're looking to get these 82 to 83s for right around 75K. So you guys can see we have that right now for 75K, Christian Bearmore. And what you're gonna do is you're trying to try to get other 83s for right around, give or take 60K. So they're not gonna be up super frequently, but if you snipe, if you sit there for five minutes, I, I would bet you can probably find um, the 83s for that price. And the, and the card we're gonna be targeting is Patrick Sertain, guys. So. Um, some good positions to look for the 83s. Um, you guys can see nothing really up right here, but halfbacks isn't a bad position. Wide receivers is a solid position. Positions once there's an influx of 83 overalls are a nice position to look at. So um, Devontae Adams, 66K, you can still make profit if you were to get that for 66K. Punters and kickers are excellent ones because people pull them, especially punters, they don't want to keep them. 70K for Ryan Stonehouse right now, a little more than what I would like to pay. Even if I complete the set for 350K, spending basically 70K per card, it's still profitable. So kickers, not any way up right now. Um, again, this is a Sunday morning. So obviously there isn't a ton of these cards in the market right now. But, um, you know, if you do this like a Saturday or something, there will be a ton up. So middle linebackers a good position, right end, left end, or some pretty good positions. You guys can see Cam Hayward right here for 61K. I'm going to overpay it by 1K because that's not too bad of an overpay. I'm only going to lose a K. You think about it, if I do that three times, it's 3,000 coins. You know, to potentially make, what would it be? So i basically be completing the set for about 330, sell for 400K. You're looking at right around a, um, what would that be? 30K profit right there. That ain't bad. 30,000 coins fullback is a excellent position to look at. Um, none of the Ricards up right there. That's going to be the one card that'll typically pop up to Patrick Ricard. Um, besides that, pretty pretty light on other positions. Right outside linebacker might not be one if you want to look for uh, Alex Highsmith. Um, but you guys can see, we're going to go over to this set now. We're going to complete the Pat Sertain. So Pat Sertain, you're going to um, 383s, 283s. Um, complete the set right here. Super quick and easy. We spent, what would that be? Again, like I said, 180K plus 150K. You're looking at 330. We'll see what this card sells for. It's probably going to go for more than what you want. And you're also completing some Campus Heroes objectives if you do this a few times, so not too bad. That is a super sick animation right there, the Campus Heroes. Um, Pat Sertain right here, you guys can see his going price is right around 400,000 coins right now. We'll throw it up 400K. It's going to sell for that. That's an easy 30,000 coin profit, guys. We're, you know, stuff isn't fun to make coins. You aren't going to open up packs and make coins. But if you do the methods like this, man, you can definitely make the coins pretty quick and easy. So that's going to be, uh, you know, quick and easy little profit right there. Other ones to look at, um, like I was saying, the preseason champion, I'll do this. It's going to be a fantasy pack right here. Um, I had some of these just laying around. We'll complete this set. I also sniped some of these for like 25k each. So, you know, frequently stuff will pop up for a lot cheaper than what they should be going for. Um, we have Alton Preseason. and they're a different animation for this. Is it longer? Yeah, it definitely looks a little bit longer. Javon Hargrave, that was the one we were targeting. So for about 2 to 30K, you know, pretty nice little profit right there. Um, so we'll definitely take that. So those are probably the best methods to target right now. Those are the ones I would personally be going for. Like I said, it's, it's especially toward the beginning of the year, it's a lot more difficult to make coins, but you can do it, man. If you take the time, you can make your coins. It really isn't that difficult. Like I said, basically, you're going to be sending on the 82 to 83s a lot of the times on the filters. That would be what I'm doing. Um, you think about if you complete, let's say you make 25K per set on average, you complete eight an hour, let's say. I mean, that's a nice little profit, man. That's probably 150K to 200K profit, I'd say an hour, which isn't too bad. I would 100% recommend doing that. 
That's probably the best way to go about your time right now, I'd say. Um, it isn't easy. Again, a lot of times it isn't fun as well, but it is a necessity if you, you know, especially don't want to be spending tons of money on this game. Doing this stuff is a good little side hustle. Get yourself some coins um, and do these methods. Like I said, um, especially folks on those lower methods, if you guys, you know, don't have too many coins, the base team item and stuff, work your way up to this point in which you can do this. And before you know it, you'll be making yourself some nice bank and overall, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice having coins. You can do what you want with them. To buy different players, have fun, open some packs if you want. But uh, like I said, best coin making method in the game right now is to avoid the back store because that place, it sucks. It sucks uh, coins out of you like none other. Uh, we'll take this for thirty nine five hundred. I might as well snipe this. That's not a bad price for him. We'll take it. Like I said, that'll probably go into the next Javon Hargrave set I do. So doing this stuff is the best methods currently in Madden 25 Ultimate Team. If you guys did enjoy the video, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on post notifications. Let me know what you think about the video if you guys are making coins doing these methods. Now I'm MTG. Peace out.